Last week, Kanye West debuted his new song, in true Kanye West fashion. Now, the music video was projected onto 66 buildings around the world. We're not here to talk about Kanye's style or his marketing prowess, but whether the lyrical content of the song will make as much of an impression on his audience. See, the song, which is called New Slaves, makes a forceful argument that our modern day prison system is a form of new slavery for black Americans. My mama was raised in the era when clean water was only served to the fairer skin. Doing clothes, you would have thought I had help, but they wasn't satisfied unless I picked the car and myself. You see, it's broke, nigga, race him, that's that, don't touch anything in the stove. And it's rich, nigga, race him, that's that, come in, please buy more. What you want? A Bentley, fur coat, a diamond chain? All you blacks want all the same thing. Used to only be niggas. Hey, by playing, spending anything on out. Alexander Wang, new slaves. Do you think that Kanye's right? I, I know Kanye's right. I mean, it's really hard to ignore the evidence. You see his leaders and his followers, but I'd rather be a dick than a swallower. You see his leaders and his followers, but I'd rather be a dick than a swallower. Thousands or hundreds of thousands of, of people, particularly African American men, that, that were given 50, 60 year sentences for petty drug crimes. And what people don't understand is that this has destroyed the entire black community. I throw these Maybach keys, I wear my heart on the sleeve. I know if we the new slaves, I see the blood on the leaves. I see the blood on the leaves. I see the blood on the leaves. I know that we the new slaves, I see the blood on the leaves. The culture of prisons has really sort of taken over the black community. You and your corporation, y'all niggas can't control me. I know that we the new slave, I know that we the new slave. I'm about to wild the fuck out, I'm going Bobby Boucher. Black people are less than 14% of the population in the United States, but they make it 40% of the prison system. So Dr. Watkins is right, and I think Kanye West is right. It's a new form of slavery, and uh, Dr. Watkins is also right about the 13th Amendment. I mean, the way you treat people who even released from prison, for example, in the state of Virginia, you can't vote, even though you've served your time. In the state. Like the New World Order, meanwhile the DEA teamed up with the CCA, they try to lock niggas up, they try to make new State. See, that's that probably on prison. Get your peace today. They probably y'all in the Hamptons bragging about what they made. Justice Corporation of America is the country's biggest private prison company. They make about $1.7 billion every year, and they make their money by locking people up. See, Al, now what the fuck they gonna say now? this up close my older brother uh suffered mental health effects his entire life because of what he experienced by going to prison at the age of 18. uh you know what we have to really understand is that these men are the individuals that are expected to be husbands and fathers and leaders in our community and in many cases they're incapable of doing that not just from the psychological damage but also they're not able to go out and succeed economically so i think that we have to really ask ourselves uh, is this system helping our society or are we simply creating a bigger, broader generation of criminals? Pulls out the handcuffs and just only arrest me. Literally only arrest me. And I did nothing at all. I And everybody saw I did nothing at all. Even my business partner, like, there's some dudes who get arrested where they're talking shit like, nigga, fuck, y'all cops like they do shit to me, nigga. Nah, fuck that. And they get arrested because they're just being too rowdy and too crazy and like, and saying shit to insult the cop. And then the cop ends up arresting him. I did nothing i was even telling i was like trying to be so cool and friendly and this dude just arrested me he didn't arrest the girl and i'm the only black guy right there they pretty much have sort of carved out prisons as their way to contribute to the economy as as 21st century uh slave labor class is a big part of it but i don't think that we can just discount race. Um, if you look at, say, drug use and selling statistics, whites, blacks, Latinos use and sell drugs at the exact same rates. Actually, if you look at young whites, it's a little bit more uh, on those fronts. And yet, 
uh, African-Americans are incarcerated 10 times more than whites are for drug crimes. Um, so they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're more likely to get profiled and, and stopped and frisked. They're more likely to get arrested. Once arrested, they're more likely to get prosecuted. Once prosecuted, they're more likely to get convicted and sentenced longer. And we all look exactly the same. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I don't see no white people in here at all. I just see a bunch of dark skinned black dudes in here wearing white beaters. I'm like, what the fuck? And we, I'm not even joking when I say this. We all look exactly the same, wearing the same type of outfits. And I was like, they just put me in here and I'm just another nigga on the fucking list now, another number in here. And they were disrespecting me in there. Get over here. And, and you know, I've been in jail before in the past, and, but I, I deserved it last time. I didn't deserve it this time. And they just didn't give a fuck. And it's like, man, doesn't matter if you're Satan or Jesus, you're gonna go to, you're gonna get fucked over regardless by this, this crooked ass system. In that process of seeing America in all these different formats and forces, and, you know, the definition of America kept changing as I would go to a different city. And it, it wasn't, it didn't fit the mold that I was told that this is, you know, the land of the free and the home of the brave and the beautiful this and the beautiful that. I was like, no, there's some very ugly things here. You know, I, I never knew about Pine Ridge. What is Pine Ridge, South Dakota? You know, what is Camden, New Jersey? Why does that look like this? How is, how is this, how do we live, in, how, if our country is so rich and so beautiful and so powerful, why do we possess one of the poorest places in the Western Hemisphere with a poverty rate and an infant mortality rate second only to Haiti? Yeah. You know, and to, to discover that, it's like, oh, that's America too, Jesus Christ. I need to make a song about that. <laughs> allegiance to your flag Cause I can't find no reconciliation with your past When there was nothing equal for my people in your math You forced us in the ghetto and then you took our dads If you look at all the violence on the south side of Chicago Where you have all these young kids running out with AK-47 Shooting each other down on the street Making families unsafe Many of those kids are behave that way because their parents are incarcerated And they had nobody to lead them and guide them So we're ultimately destroying the infrastructure of our uh, Social infrastructure of our society by allowing the system to grow Blood on any battlefield of yours I pray the ugly truth comes and shatters your decor And as it all falls down in tatters on the floor I shed tears, I don't know what really matters anymore Cause I don't know what really matters Good idea, I'll be a drug dealer But that's not the like, I mean that's actually just a, a thing you can do To sustain yourself, you know um, It's not preferred or not preferred, it's just what, it's what's there Through this city going mad I see the fruits of planting evidence instead of grass A swindled generation with no patience full of swag Man, they so impatient with the stations that they have As long as they look good when they be doing bad And the separation from the truth is getting vast, fast Be a slave at first or free at last That there has always been an element of racism, even of xenophobia involved If you think of, you know, why it was that in California originally opium was something that was made illegal is because you had a you know a Chinese population in California that obviously culturally they were heavy users of opium and so it was targeted directly towards them and you know baptize your mind let your brain take a bath swim inside the river get delivered from the craft for the witches in this business that be living off your sad hating on your happiness you hit them off with laughs smile till they surrendered and you kill them off with glad hello evil um At a certain point, it stops becoming culture, mm -hmm. and it becomes a commercial product. It becomes a commodity. And once it becomes a commodity, 
it, it, it's open to the forces of every other commodity. You can say the same thing about the railroad. You know, before they built the railroad, it's like, ah oh, man, you got the railroad, it's gonna get you from point A to point B. You're gonna get, be able to get from New York to Los Angeles in four days. It's gonna be in a certain relative comfort as opposed to taking six weeks on a horse and da 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 da. People are like, oh yeah, that's dope. All right, let's do it. Everybody, yo, that's dope. Even the Indians. It's like, oh, that's crazy. That's wow. Yeah. You know, it takes us. But little did they know, you know, for that to happen, to 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 build that, you know, it, you're gonna have to wipe out half the country. You know, you're gonna have to steal these people's land. You're gonna have to kill these people. You're gonna have to kind of exploit these people, segregate these people. Unfortunately, I don't think that we we didn't solve the situation, uh, you know, here today, Thambia. As you said, this is something that has been institutionalized. You know, for it's, it, it is part of unfortunately, the fabric of this country at this point, but we need to change it, we need to fix it. And I guess, you know, the more people that bring attention to it, if Kanye West decides to bring attention to it, then the better.